Hi everyone, today we're continuing with part two of our uh, worldwide electoral map here. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, our worldwide electoral map. So this is going to be a very, uh, a very interesting election because we've got Trump and Biden and I'm using this, uh, this Pew Research Center polling uh, that that takes a look at all a bunch of different countries where they have data from and uh, and you know looking at uh, is Trump viewed favorably there so in terms we were we left off at India so in terms of some of these countries where the US is at war with I'm going to put like Yemen for example they're just gonna vote against Saudi Arabia uh, on pretty much everything Oman you know down the stretch here I think a lot of these could definitely go to Joe Biden here uh, in the Middle East uh, where the US is at war. Turkey is an interesting one. Uh, I, I'm going to give it to Biden, but Trump definitely could win it. I mean, it's sort of a bit up in the air in Turkey. Ah, Turkey, Turkey is 11%, so that's definitely going to Joe Biden. Uh, a lot of these other countries near Turkey, I would expect them to vote the same way. Russia, we're going to come back to because that's quite a big country in Russia. And a lot of these other places, we're just going to be giving over to Joe Biden because they don't have much polling. Uh, Pakistan will be giving to Biden because uh, India and Pakistan obviously have quite the sort of, uh, uh, I guess, uh, you know, difference there. Uh, uh, Colombo will be giving to Biden. Uh, obviously near actually Colombo we can give to Trump because India has a pretty good impression of Trump in the state in the country of India in the Philippines we ha do have data 77 percent approval so that obviously moving to Trump so you could expect a lot of these other countries where we don't have data could also be favorable like this like Indonesia or Indonesia is actually 30 so we'll be giving Indonesia over to Joe Biden in Papua New Guinea, most likely not much data there, so we can give that over to Joe Biden. Uh, in in Australia, in Australia, that's also most likely a Biden country. Thirty five percent for Trump. Uh, Australia usually electing pretty sort of centrist uh, figures to lead their country. So Australia going to Joe Biden. Uh, in the in New Zealand right now they have a. Labour uh, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, so that can go over to Joe Biden. I believe Ardern and Biden are probably quite similar on the issues. And then a lot of these other sort of, uh, you know, countries in the Pacific region, we obviously don't have much polling, so we're going to be giving some of these, uh, most of these over to Biden, who I think a lot of these Pacific Islands could be like Hawaii, so you could say that, you know, Hawaii is obviously a Biden territory. You could say that that is going over to Joe Biden. Okay, uh, in some of these Southeast Asian nations, we do not have much polling. Uh, but from what I can see in the Philippines, 77% and India, 56%, a lot of these countries could actually be going over to Trump uh, because the countries surrounding them. So Vietnam um and you know laos thailand a lot of these are going to be going over to donald trump uh we're going to be leaving nepal and bhutan to go to biden because i believe bhutan is very dedicated on the climate situation uh in terms of uh the you know work to try and rectify that situation they are actually the world's first carbon negative country so I think that they're probably, you know, pretty liberal on some of these issues. So Biden, I could see winning both of those uh, areas. Japan, 36%. South Korea, 46%. Both of these, uh, Japan, so will be giving to Biden, but South Korea, 46% is probably enough to pull out a win. Uh, North Korea, that one's going to be interesting. Uh, we might leave North Korea blank until uh, a bit later on. Mongolia. Uh, this is sort of uh, here, uh, sort of between China and Russia, Mongolia. We will actually be giving over to, uh, do we have any data there? No, we don't. We'll be coming back to Mongolia. In terms of Russia, 20%. Uh, 
Uh, so you could see Biden definitely taking Russia and Russia and China are actually quite similar. So China could also be going to Joe Biden uh, and then Mongolia just fitting in with the rest of that region. Uh, Taiwan, they're considering here a country. Uh, they act like a country. I'm not going to get into it whether it is a country because of, uh, well, I guess all the stuff that's been going on with Taiwan and Hong Kong. Uh, but Taiwan, uh, that's an interesting one. We don't have much data. I think they'd probably do whatever China didn't do, so we'll be giving Taiwan over to Donald Trump. And uh, in North Korea, they have... Um, I think they'd probably vote for Trump because they would want a real, like, massive change from uh, what they have been doing in North Korea. And, you know, Trump and Kim Jong-un have had some sort of, I guess, meetings. So North Korea we can give over to Donald Trump. Uh, what I, what's a bit interesting in South, I would expect North and South to be uh, different, but I guess South Korea has a pretty good view of Trump, so um, we'll just be leaving it like that. Uh, in, um, in this area, I'm not actually sure what that country is, uh, we'll be just giving that over to Trump because uh, the neighbouring country there also is for Trump. Okay, uh, now we're just down to uh, Europe. So a lot of these uh, Western European countries do not have a good view of the president. But then if you look at, you know, Poland or Ukraine, uh, those countries have a uh, sort of more favorable view of the president. So uh, we're going to be giving the UK, Ireland, Portugal, Spain, France, uh, Denmark, you know, these sort of countries here. A lot of these will be giving over to Joe Biden because they actually have quite uh, left-wing politics compared to the US, so we could expect them to vote Biden. Uh, a lot of these other countries here, uh, you could say also going in it Italy, also going in a Biden direction. However, we will be giving Ukraine and some of their neighboring countries here, and then Poland, some of their neighboring countries there, over to Donald Trump. So. Uh, we're actually going to be giving, sorry, we're, we're going to be giving here these three because these were used to be part of the Soviet Union. Uh, but if we take a look here, Poland and Ukraine will be giving over to Trump along with this country. I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, and then some of the neighbours, you could say, could go to Donald Trump. And then the rest of these will just be giving them over to Biden because we don't have much concrete data as to uh, if they like Trump or if they don't. So just fitting in with the surrounding countries there. And some of these, there's still a few more uh, countries here. I'm trying to find, uh, I guess, where they are. But we'll just be leaving it like that. There are still 55 toss-ups, but a lot of those are very small countries. So it's going to be very hard uh, to actually see uh, if, if, like, who they support. So that's it for today's video, guys. 106 countries supporting Biden, 70 for Trump. You can see some geographical patterns here. Um, <coughs> you can see a lot of Africa quite supportive of the president. You can see, you know, Saudi Arabia and their allies in the Middle East supportive of the president. But a lot of the other countries here, Asia is a Biden stronghold here. You, he's got, you know, Russia, Mongolia, China, and... Um, many other countries Trump, and it's worth noting here uh, obviously you, you know this can't happen in real life and if it did happen in real life if we we're picking some sort of world president they wouldn't both both be from the US and also not all countries would have the same amount so for example China would have a lot more representation than you know North Korea for example because China has many more people than North Korea but 106 countries for Biden, 70 for Trump, and that sort of lines up with what we're seeing here in this overall sort of view uh, here. Confidence in Trump, most people don't have much confidence, so you can sort of see that reflected in, and I'd expect most of these 54 island sort of countries to be going to Joe Biden. But that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Good night.